So even if you're not a sports fan, if you saw that Villanova North Carolina game, it was absolutely incredible. I'm telling you right now, everybody from Villanova, they should just quit playing right now because it's never going to get better than that game winning shot with no time on the clock. Really incredible. And by the way, Glenn Paisley, you won our pool, our listing booster NCAA pool, over 230 people and you won the darn thing. So we're gonna be in touch, congratulations. Myself, I came in 200, not so good. So did you see this? The Obama administration is pushing banks to make home loans to people with weaker credit. Oh, by the way, that's code for bad credit. They're doing this because we're leaving too many people behind. And they want to use the FHA. Does it sound familiar to you? Well, it should. Yeah, that's right. Even President Clinton wanted to expand home ownership. He wanted to use the FHA. You know, thought too many people were being left out. Now you think we're being partisan? Not a chance at all. George Bush, he wanted to bring home ownership to more people with less than perfect credit. Thought too many people were being left behind. He used the FHA and wanted FHA to guarantee up to 103%. Though that sounds more like a VA loan to me. Uh, but you get the idea here. Yeah, come to think of it, we've had a quarter century, 25 years of this type of housing policy, and not once in the last 25 years has anyone figured out that someone who finances a mattress and stops paying on it, getting a mattress repossessed, I mean, it's not a good profile for somebody to make their house payment. Oh, Jesus, honey. Push the little button. Oh my God, oh God, put, put it down. down. Put it cramp! Cramp! Now, we're not saying that you shouldn't give credit to those with checkered pass, but we are saying when you do that, when you force banks to lower their standards, stuff's going to go wrong. And when it does, it seems reasonable to take the scrutiny like we're seeing right now and turn that around and look at the policies that lead to this type of stuff. It's kind of Groundhog Day-ish. <laughs> Don't mess with me, pork chop. We have loose lending standards that are pushed by our elected officials and things go wrong. Then those same officials sue the banks into oblivion for those loose standards. Then lending standards tighten up and now those same officials say, hey, loosen back up, man. We're leaving too many people behind. It seems quite dysfunctional, don't you think? How about this one? At the same time, we're hearing that HUD's telling landlords to rent to ex-cons or face the consequences. How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't need to hire an ex-con, but I need to rent my house to them. Now, Frank brought up a great point here. When you rent to somebody, you pull their credit. You check it out. You make sure they've got a job. If that doesn't work out, you don't need to rent to them. Well, what about if they've got good credit and a job, but they've, you know, chopped off somebody's head? I mean, why do I need to rent to that guy? It seems that chopping off someone's head might be a higher priority for a landlord than a five-year-old medical bill. I'm just saying. Okay, and that would be a very valid point, I would assume here. But let's look at the flip side of the coin. If you don't get jobs and homes for those recently, you know, reintroduced to society after a stint in state or federal rehabilitation, well, they might just end up back in forced rehabilitation. So it does make some type of sense, don't you think? But I mean, is it HUD's place to apply fair housing laws to, to criminals? I mean, my thinking is it's probably the lesser of two evils. I mean, gotta sell to people with jacked up credit and rent to convicts. Housing in the 21st century, man. And when it all goes bad, it's gonna be the fault of unscrupulous landlords and banks. Yep. <laughs> Not of the government by any means. <laughs> So there you go. What do you guys think about all this? Let us know in the comments down below, forward and share and subscribe in the upper right hand corner up there. We'll catch you later. Yeah, I, I do think I got a little bit more Bernie Sanders in me. You gotta get you gotta get these people who got out of prison. You gotta get jobs, you gotta have housing, or sure. we know what the inevitable conclusion of that is going to be nine out of ten times. Problems, right. So it makes sense, but then forcing that person who owns a private house to I don't know. It's complicated. Uh, it's a tough deal. Well, we'll catch you guys later. Something to chew on today. See ya. Bye. Bye.